Did you know that bombs are a thing? And they're not even that hard to make. Fungal growth, ant eggs, dry grass chunks. I already have fungal growth. Dry grass is pretty much everywhere. And then ant eggs come from the ant hill. Or so I'm led to believe. To get down there, we're gonna need a torch. I'm gonna make an extra one. Luckily, these are also super easy to make. And I could make this a little bit easier by wearing ant gear so the ants will leave me alone, but where's the fun in that? Pretty tempting to murder that right now, but since I'm already at the ant hill, let's stay focused. The reason I brought the second torch is because this place is a giant maze and I might be down here for a while. Our first enemy. There's gonna be 80% less ants by the time I'm done down here. I'm not even sure that these really can hurt me at this point, but I'm just gonna wade through them, murdering them all as I find them. Oh, another one. Hello. We're just going ever deeper. I assume all the good stuff's gonna be at the bottom, so we're gonna keep wandering downwards every chance we get. Aw, oh, this one needs help. That is a lot of ants. This is exactly why I need a bomb. So, uh, I'm gonna need to take care of these. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but I'm just gonna wade in with my giant club and beat them all to death. I'm just gonna assume it's all going well. I'm gonna try not to pick up the purple thing because it's actually giving me just a little bit of light. All right, progress report, how did we do? There's still a few alive, but we made a pretty good dent. And I probably should have remembered to bring some food, but I think this is gonna work out okay because as I understand it, if you have a bunch of ants spawning like this, the eggs won't really spawn. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of remove all these parts and try it again tomorrow. At the very least, I decimated the ant population. So today was a good day. And they still wanna fight even though I'm outside the hole. And I won't be running out of ant parts anytime soon. While I'm waiting for a new day, I'm gonna start to repair some of my armor because it's getting a little beat up. And that means I'm gonna need some spider silk. So where do you suppose I find that? They probably won't mind. Here's a volunteer now. Wait, make that two volunteers. Please don't break my armor while I'm fighting you. That's two spiders delicately murdered, and we got some silk. Since there suddenly doesn't appear to be any spiders left on the map, I'm gonna make one super armor glue for now because my shin pads really need it. Hopefully it repairs these all the way, and it sure does because those are really hard to make. And since we also need a new insect axe, I've gotta go find that ladybug again. Or maybe not because it disappeared into thin air. But since I did find more spider silk, I can repair another piece of my very valuable armor. No, it's just the faceplate that needs repair, so I'm gonna go get some more berry leather before it gets dark. Just kidding, I don't have time, so I'm gonna sit here until it gets dark and I'll go tomorrow. So today, I need berry leather, but also a ladybug head. For some reason, the ants seem to be pretty mad at me today. Apparently, you can shoot these down. So I'm starting to have my doubts. Oh, nope, there it goes. Cool, that's gonna make this easier. That should be more than enough berries, provided my axe doesn't break. Oh good, I'm gonna get free stuff. Depending on what wins here, I get the corpse. I think it's probably going to be the stink bug that wins, which kind of sucks because I kill spiders all the time anyways. It's probably pretty weak now, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just kidding. Of course I'm going to bother, because it only takes one hit. I remember the time when there used to be nothing but ladybugs here. Maybe I killed them all. What do you think's up there? Finally. Oh, and there's two of them. Of course there is. Right, well, I'm going to save before diving into this. Not because I'm not confident, just because I know myself. So you just got to find a nice spot and then start spinning in circles. And then the ladybug can't really hit you. Whoops, got to be careful. Oh, it got me once. That's okay. We'll pretend that didn't happen. And twice, we might have to back off. Okay, it's not playing fair anymore, right. All right, well, you don't want to play fair? I don't want to play fair. I'm gonna stick arrows into your head until you die. This is probably a bad idea considering it's the head I'm trying to collect, but a few holes in it won't make a difference. I held up my end of the bargain. Please give me your head. Ladybug parts, and I think that's the head rolling away. And I didn't get a head, so off to this one. At least I get some immense joy out of killing the bugs. It's a fun process. That's better. There we go. We just need to do tight little circles and then it can't hit us. Oh, it's stunned. That's too bad. Gotcha. Ladybug, give me your head. Yes, I got a head. Now I can remake my axe. Now I just go back and collect my stuff. And finally, we can make a new insect axe. That's made of actually very expensive parts. I even made an extra extra torch because, you know, I'm me. I'm probably going to be down there for a while. So let's hope the eggs spawned in. So far, there's still lots of soldier ants around. And I found the rotten bee face mask. That's the only place in the game you can find it. And another horde of soldier ants. But there's a hole here, so hopefully that takes us closer to eggs. Or just this. And the rotten bee shoulder pad, so that's two parts of this set. Out of blind luck, because I have no idea where I am. Pretty sure I should have found eggs by now. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove some more of the soldier ants in the hopes that worker ants spawn for eggs. I've relocated the horde, so time to do what I do best and murder them all in the dark. Well, I did get most of them. That's probably good enough for now. I guess we'll try it again tomorrow. The ant genocide continues. Just one last one to go. 
And there we go. 100 ants down. The worker ants seem to be back stealing stuff and bringing it into their hole. So hopefully that means tomorrow we'll get what we want. And if you're wondering what the bee armor looks like, that. But it's going to hang out in a storage chest until I figure out if it actually has a use or not. I feel like I've been here before. But I'm still not seeing any ant eggs, so I'm going to wander around a bit. Maybe there's somewhere else. I don't think I've gone through the water yet, so this will take me somewhere new. Or maybe not. Definitely not. I never thought making bombs was going to be so damn hard to do. Maybe I'll try a different entrance. So after looking into it, you need ants in the colony to be able to produce the eggs. I killed a bunch of them, but I think they weren't producing the eggs because they were all bunched up together. So I'm just going to wander around the world and kill whatever ants I do find. They'll hopefully respawn down in the chamber to find eggs. I've also discovered and destroyed apple bits. You know what? Those guys can have those and take them back and hopefully that makes them grab some eggs. After wandering around the world for a while, I'm not really seeing a lot of ants that are stuck. So I might just have to wait for them to respawn down below. This morning, there is a single ant to greet me. Hopefully it brought some eggs. And there's some soldier ants back kind of spread out, so this is a good sign. Part of the problem currently might actually be that there's too many ant parts lying around. I killed so many ants in here and left the crap everywhere that I might be stopping other stuff from spawning. Anytime anything moves, ant parts go flying everywhere. And there still appears to be zero eggs. This is the fifth day now of looking for eggs, zero. So I'm going to collect more of the ant parts and then hopefully tomorrow we'll actually have some eggs spawning in. I'm running out of ideas. And my mint mallet is about to break so I need to make another one of these too. And that kind of sucks because I can only make so many of these. But at least I don't have to go too far to find the piece. Getting out, however, can be a bit difficult. But of course, I also need nine spider silks and eight flower petals because they don't make anything easy. This is so much work just to start making bombs. And my mint mallet broke while I was fighting a spider. Hopefully it gives me the silk I need to build a new one. I wish I could even find as many ant eggs as I do spiders. All right, one new mint mallet. For the rest of this particular day, I'm going to wander around one more time to kill any more worker ants I find. Then I'm going to sit outside their hole all night. Hopefully they'll spawn in that way. I haven't found a lot of ants yet, but I did find a lot of liquid. Are they hiding in the abandoned ant hill? Are they confused? They don't seem that smart. There are some ants in here. There is actually quite a few worker ants in here, so I might be able to get some eggs. Or I'll just find a dead end and have nowhere to go. But I'm going to sit right here above the ant hill for the entire night in the hopes that they'll reset. And just like that, it's been well over a day, so let's go see what happened down here. I'm still not seeing a lot of the worker ants down here, so I'm not really sure where they've gone. They might still be stuck somewhere up in the world. So unfortunately, I'm probably going to need to track them down and kill them. I have no idea where they are though because I've scoured the whole map. Confirmed. Not a single egg to be found. I suspect I might have found my missing ants. For whatever reason, they're all piled up on this rock. I'm killing so many of these idiots that I basically broke my brand new axe already. But that seems a little better. There's still a few ants stuck down in the rock, but I mean, that's a lot of them that I'm going to be able to reset. I can come back later with a gas arrow and destroy whatever's underneath. All I need is some stink bug gas sacks. Then I can kill the many ants that are somewhere in the stupid rock. I can also hear ants under this rock, which is weird. I wonder how many of these rocks have ants in them now. So now I'm going to make a few gas arrows and head back to the rocks. Since I do have a few minutes left in this day, I should probably kill some more stink bugs to make some more arrows. Luckily, they're not super hard to kill anymore. That's all three of them dead. And already I'm seeing more ants over here where they're supposed to be. So that means I get another three gas arrows, which is going to help me kill ants stuck in rocks. Before I bother to go murder any more ants, let's see if this theory has any credibility first. Right away, I'm definitely noticing no workers down here. They're all soldiers still. Without workers, I don't think we get eggs. Once again, disappointment. How are they back alive again? Did they let themselves out? At least they're pretty straightforward to kill. I definitely can hear some of the ants down below because they're mad at me right now. Probably shouldn't have stood in that, but that should help take care of whatever ants are down below. In fact, I hear them dying and I get my arrow back anyways. I managed to kill the ants that were in the rock. Now it's just to find out how many ants are in how many rocks. I can definitely hear them down below and I've got more ants coming in pretty much regularly. So I don't know why they like this spot so much, but they do. So after running along these rocks for a minute, I've realized there's a lot of ants down below. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill them or if it's actually going to make a difference in the end. I'm basically going to go from rock to rock, poisoning it like this until the ants inside die. Cleared out more than a few of these rocks very painfully and look, I've almost destroyed my armor again. Now that I've killed a million more ants, I'm going to wait here. Apparently they respawn at 1.30 a.m. and hope that they respawn down there and do their eggs. And still all the wrong kinds of ants. So maybe this is just bugged beyond repair. But once again, there is nothing in the collection chamber. Decided to give this one final try after sleeping for the night in case that happened to spawn some in. But I have my doubts at this point. I just think it's not going to work. Yep, it's just more of the same. Not one single worker to be found anywhere. Good news update. 
I've spent several hours killing ants and other things and I just saw a worker ant crawling out of here and there's another one so this might have actually finally worked for me. Yes, there's a lot of ants down here. Basically what I did was killed all the ants down in here so they all respond as workers which seems to have worked. It's so weird to see so many of them. There was none for so long. Now they're all back. And some of the soldiers are definitely still here. We're gonna ignore them for now in the hopes that they actually have some eggs. Not here. But the workers are back. That's the most important thing. We'll find some eggs eventually. This is a big step. See this guy? He's bringing a piece of hot dog. He was bringing it down to his little collection spot. I think that would produce an egg had he made it there, but he got distracted by me. Well, there goes another one. He's bringing his little hot dog piece down, so let's follow him. And there we go. He deposited his one piece of hot dog. Now he's distracted by me. Go lay an egg, stupid. I need eggs. Yeah. Great. Good work. The second ant just came and dropped a hot dog piece. I might be screwing this up by standing here. I think the trick was not only killing all the worker ants out in the world, but killing all the soldier ants in here, plus picking up all their parts. There were still parts all over the place. They still seem to be having trouble on occasion with I don't know what, but as long as they're in here somewhat, I'm closer than I was before. Okay, I've actually succeeded in finding my first eggs in this chamber where they drop stuff down. It's not many, but it's a start, so that confirmed we can still find ant eggs. Not that this process hasn't taken long enough already, but we're gonna turn this into whatever we can. Alright, now I just need to find my fungal growth again and dry grass chunks. Also, I should probably analyze the ant egg to see exactly what we can make out of it. I've never actually picked one of these up before. Ripwire bomb. Ripwire bomb, you say? That could be fun. And they're actually apparently very easy to make. All they take is ant parts and spider silk. But of course, bomb's not included because of course not. Anyways, our very first bomb. Now we just need to figure out how to use it and who to use it on. It's like the creatures of the world know. The guy that decimated literally the entire ant colony now has a bomb and probably doesn't have good intentions with it. This. This right here is why the ants are a problem. There's a single piece of spoiled meat on top of a rock, and they don't know what to do about it, so they'll cluster there forever. Remember this little guy? I bet he likes bombs. How do these work? So we just throw them. Alright. There you go. Catch. Uh-oh. That's fun. That took off a fifth of its health and made a pretty big boom. Oh, and the spider's even gonna run away. It doesn't like the bomb. Alright, well, obviously this is my den now. It's never coming back again. All right, well, clearly these do some damage, so let's go find more. We're getting some ants once again jammed up at a hot dog, so let's see if we can take care of them. How big's the boom? Excellent. Didn't even kill some of the ants. Well, killed that one, I guess. It's probably a radius thing. I just need more bombs. That's the problem. So what I need is some dried grass, which I collect with my level 2 axe. It's almost dead, so I'm going to need to kill a ladybug again soon. And then fungal growth, which comes from the toxic area. I found a ladybug, which is actually really good. He already looks pretty mad about something. But I'm going to need a ladybug if I want to find... Make a level 2 axe. Whoops, too close. Well... Let's stand back and piss it off a little bit. I wish I had bombs right now, but the gas arrows and stuff should help knock its health down pretty quick. Especially when I think it's kind of stuck down there, so it's getting the full brunt of all that gas. We'll hit it with a few poison arrows, and then I don't have to risk uh, hurting my armor anymore. I don't care about the damage, but I don't want to keep repairing my armor constantly. Easy ladybug. And I even got a head from it so I can make a new axe. Suddenly the game wants to be on my side and make this easy after 80 hours. I think I'm probably also going to need some of this guy's parts to make my axe. Whoops. So I'm going to kill him with arrows because I might as well use them and it's easy. We'll hit him with a couple venom arrows first. That should annoy him pretty badly. And then we'll switch to the gas arrows and chase him around until they die. We don't even have to necessarily hit them with the gas arrows as long as they're in the vicinity of it. And they just kind of run away. Hopefully they don't respond health too quickly, though they might. Are either of you low on health right now? All right, we're just going to stick to what we know. We're just going to run in there and hit them with my thing. I don't have any healing on me, so this was maybe a bad choice. All right, not sure what's attacking me now. Oh, the mites are there. All right, well, we're going to back off for a second and rethink this. Yep, they regenerated all their health already just because they ran away. But as long as I'm hitting with, with my club, I do a lot of damage to them. Are they going to kill me? Uh-oh. Whoops. I didn't really realize how fast they regenerate health. If you shoot them with a couple of arrows and they run away, uh, their health will be full again. All right, I've made some more healing. Not a ton, but it should be enough to get me past the Bombardier beetles. But for now, I'm going to go collect ant eggs before they bug again. There's still tons of worker ants down here, so that's a good sign. And I'm not seeing any more eggs yet. I might need to feed some of the ants up top. They might not have a food source. and They might need one to produce eggs. So while I'm out today collecting the rest of the stuff I need for bombs, I'm going to leave them food. Hopefully that makes them produce more eggs. All right, both of the Bombardier beetles are dead, so that's all the parts I need for the axe. Now I just need to collect the stuff from the poison area. Hopefully these creatures aren't bugged and I'll be able to just kill them freely. 
So far so good, there seems to be enough around that I shouldn't have any trouble collecting them. After doing this for about 20 minutes, I think I've collected enough parts. And I just grabbed a little bit more spider silk, that way I can make my new axe. Now all I need is more ant eggs, so I'm gonna go back, make my axe, leave till tomorrow, collect eggs. And I've killed basically everything I could find today, that way the ants would have lots of food. And while I'm very patiently waiting for this day to end, I'm just gonna collect dry grass and think about my life choices. This morning, I still haven't found any eggs yet. I haven't gone super deep, but I am finding a lot of soldier ants again, so that means they've gotta die. That part never gets old. And still no eggs even in the room I found them in last time, so it might have rebugged itself. Well, I've cleared out every soldier ant I could get my hands on. Hopefully that's gonna make a difference for tomorrow. I'm gonna give this one more day to find bombs. Hey, look at that. Today we have one more egg so far. One. Though I'm really wondering if the eggs correspond with food. I think I found four eggs so far, and coincidentally, there's four pieces of food here. Interestingly, after circling the cave, we have one more egg available to us. I don't know how or why, but I'll take it. And there's another one as I circle the cave again, so that's kind of interesting. They're spawning as I'm running around here. And upon circling again, I've got even more eggs, so I guess I'm gonna do laps for now collecting eggs. All right, well, my hunger is starting to run low, so we're going to take a little vacation from the ants for a while. So my lonely little adventure has gotten me 13 new bombs. Well, let's call it 11 for now because I ran out of the fungal things, but 11 should be more than enough to blow something up. And that's really all I've been waiting for this entire time. The first thing I need to do is understand how quickly I can throw these and how quickly they explode. Well... They're not super quick to throw down, but they'll do a lot of damage to a lot of things. This is gonna be fun. And they clear out so much area, I'm gonna use bombs for everything from now on. So naturally, with 11 bombs. We need to see what the boss spider thinks of those bombs. But apparently it doesn't respawn, and I didn't know that, so I guess you're up. Catch! I wish it were sticky. You can't go anywhere because you're in a frisbee. This is also gonna hurt me quite a bit too, but what is all these around and uh... See how fast it could run. All right, well it's gonna hang out over there, so what is all bombs at until it dies? This is still pretty satisfying. I like the marks it leaves on the frisbee too. Maybe I get one right under it. Yeah, they kind of stop, they don't roll. The closer we get, the more damage it's gonna do. Ooh, that was right under it. We'll throw one over there. We'll throw one over there. Oh, that was a good one, that killed it. Well, now we need to find something else to explode. I think I found a volunteer. Are the bombs gonna wake it up or can I get one right under there? There you go. Oh, I hit it with it. Okay, we're gonna move up here where we're a little bit safer. That didn't really hit it, but as long as he's in there, he's pretty boned. Yep, there you go, enjoy your bombs, friend. That one's gonna do some damage for sure. Yep, look at all the damage. Nothing you can do about it. That one's sitting on him. I like this strategy for killing the wall spiders. Don't go too far. I need you right here. I like how he's basically trapped in there. It's his own little tomb. And, uh, make it a, a bit of a mess in the local scenery, but that seems to have killed the wall spider. Not so intimidating now, are you? This might be a good test for a bomb. So if I place one maybe here, and then run... Oh, we actually built a pretty good home. Do bombs not blow this stuff up, or do we just need more bombs? Hmm. This is one durable house. Nope, there we go. It only takes a few bombs. That's good to know in case you accidentally drop one. Which doesn't at all sound like something I would do, but that's also something I would do. Catch! Oh, he kicked it away. I didn't know they could do that. That's not fair. All right, well, I'm going to throw it on the ground then, where it's hopefully going to stick a little better. Uh, needs to be a direct hit to do some damage. All right, you want to stink me? I'm going to throw bombs at you. That one was a good hit. I like the animation of it. If I bounce him right here against a plant, it lands right under him, and he's not going to like that one very much at all. I like bombs. Well, that one seems to have done the trick. I never noticed there was a cave right here either. What's in here? Definitely some spider web, so if I want to collect spider web at any point, I need to remember this exists. There's definitely the skeleton of something that was very big. Oh, and also a spider. Do you like bombs? There you go. We're both going to blow up from that one. 